What's up guys, it's Ed from TechSource and welcome to the ultimate PC build for the month of January. This is Retro God, the $2,000 gaming PC with an MSI theme. All the parts I used in this build will be listed down below in the description section for anyone that's interested. So it's running on a 6700K Skylake processor which is overclocked to 4.4 GHz, 16GB of DDR4 3000MHz RAM from G-Skill and an MSI GTX 980 graphics card. For the motherboard, I went with an MSI Z170A Gaming Pro to stay consistent with the theme and a Samsung 1TB SSD for storage. Powering all of these components is the 1200AXI which I know is overkill for this build. I just had it lying around so I figured I'd use it. My ultimate builds are more for aesthetics rather than price per performance like my budget builds are. So this time around I went with the NZXT Noctis 450 case because it not only looks cool but also has the same clean look inside from their other amazing cases like the H440 and S340. Cable management is always an extremely easy task using their cases. So I'm sure you guys have noticed the MSI red and black colors but I've actually stuck to the theme and picked up MSI gaming gear as well. We have the MSI GK701 mechanical gaming keyboard with cherry MX brown switches which are all individually backlit. This is one of the few really well built mechanical gaming keyboards. The frame is made out of aluminum which adds a really nice premium feel to it. Next to that I have the DS200 gaming mouse which features 9 programmable buttons, 16 million RGB backlit colors and a DPI sensor that can be adjusted up to 16400 for anyone demanding extreme precision. The mouse is pretty wide which is great for people with larger hands and me being a claw gripper I find it extremely comfortable to grip since it has somewhat of an arch. The mouse also comes with an adjustable weight system for anyone that wants a heavier mouse. To complete the gaming setup we have the MSI DS502 gaming headset. It features two large 40mm drivers for crispy audio and it's extremely light making this one of the most comfortable gaming headsets that I've ever worn. The microphone is also adjustable and you can move it out of the way when you are not using it. The headset also features 7.1 surround sound to give you that added spice and bring your games to life using the sheer living technology that comes built in the headset. The monitor I used to do the benchmarks is the 31 inch LG 4K display and this is actually different than most 4K monitors in the sense that it's true 4K meaning it has a resolution of 4096 by 2160. The monitor sports an IPS display with Adobe RGB over 99.5% which is great for editing. So this was sent to me by MassDrop which is a group buying website. The more people join a drop for a product the lower the price gets and right now they have some really great deals on a 144Hz gaming monitor but I'll leave a link down below if you guys want to check them out. So back to the PC, I do want to point out some awesome mods like the MSI fan grills, the custom cables and even the back plates which are all from V1 Tech. I used them before in my last PC build Razox and I'll drop a link to their website down below if you guys are looking to spice up your current PC. They do amazing work. So onto the benchmarks, it scored a 12,846 on Firestrike which I'm really happy with considering it's only running on a single line 80. You can find the rest of the benchmark scores and PC temps linked in my Google Drive down below for anyone that's interested. When it comes to editing, Retro God exported a 60 second 4K file in around 4 minutes using these export settings and as always I'll leave the template in the Google Drive below if any of you want to run the same tests. So with all that said and done, let's take a look at the gaming benchmarks done in 1080p. So that's it for the gaming benchmarks, as always if you guys enjoy these monthly PC builds make sure to go bacon on that like button and I will continue to do so every single month. 
Uh, I actually have a $300 budget build coming up for next month. And if you guys want some sneak peeks, make sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.